Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to Displaced. If you remember, we actually covered this game a couple of months ago, back in the summer when it was in its beta form, and it's now been released into a fully fleshed game, so I thought, why not jump in? Um, luckily, the developers actually sent me a code over. Um, not that this is sponsored, I will be giving my honest opinion on it, I will tell you what's wrong with it, if there's bugs, etc, etc, um, under no obligation, you know, the usual guys, the way we normally do stuff, so we're going to jump in and uh, see what's what, so we're going to skip the intro, uh, it's generally just paints out the picture that we are in a war-torn zone, and now we can actually select a lot more characters, uh, there's actually six characters to start for our little squad, and uh, we can actually unlock more by doing various little things as well. So we are going to take Max, who is a alcoholic cop, a very good shot and a decent, decent first aider. We're going to take Jude, uh, the chef, who's probably going to be our most important member, you know, the cook. Uh, we're not going to take Jonathan. We're going to take everyone else. We're going to take Joel, uh, first aid guy. Adele, who's a lawyer, apparently only 30, but if you look at that picture, you know, stop fucking lying. You've either had the hardest paper round in the world or you're just chatting shit. And we're going to take Adam as well, who's going to be our brawler. And we are going to skip the tutorial, guys. So, just to paint the picture, um, we are in a place called Remix, or a city called Remix. Um, we have to pick a goal here. So, this is our escape goal out of this first area. And this area is war torn. Um, we are refugees and we are trying to escape. A kind of worn, stricken land. So we're going to go for the port, which means we need to actually find fifteen thousand uh, dollars to pay our way out. We're actually in a place called Claremont at the moment, and this kind of redness here uh, will actually spread. And if we're inside that, we start getting fucked up, guys, because as you can see, there's a lot of war going on around there. So the first thing we're going to do is just check our inventory. And um, we've got a tiny bit of first aid, some antidepressants, and some bits of food and a bit of jewellery we can sell on to a trader as well. So next we're going to explore, which basically just opens up the land, tells us points of interest and other travelling groups. Um, so we're going to head generally to the east down here towards this point of interest, and then we'll head to Mackenzie because that looks like a main quest there. Okay, so this top bar, we only have a certain amount of energy as well, so we have to rest up if we expend all our energy. Um, we start getting stressy, I think we burn more calories, and we actually uh, turn to infighting between the camp, which can lead to various confrontations and generally bad stuff. So you see a group of journalists next to a minivan, they're arguing, one of them sees you and heads your way. Hi, I'm James, James Kinley, you've probably seen me on TV. I actually haven't met you probably from local access or something shitty. We want to film the war, but we don't know how to get where the action is. Are you from around here? Yes, we're heading the other way towards the border. Right, okay, so basically these guys want us to take them to various locations, and we are going to do that. Just to get the money off, they will pay us. And they've striked up some spots where we actually need to go. So there's one up there on the arrow. Um, one there, let's see where number two is is down here and then number three is back up there okay that's fine so we do need to get some food and stuff together oh all right let's go back down and we need to head to this what looks like a main quest okay you see a farm in the distance as you're crawling through a cornfield to reach the house a hand with a pistol appears and presses the barrel to your brow you glance to the side and see another man with a shotgun he approaches you and relieves you of your gun isn't it a little late for a stroll? We mean no harm. We're heading towards the border. All right, okay. Right, so maybe we could actually fight these guys. I'm, I, we're going to we're going to fight them. All right, what the fuck is going on here? The gunman cocks his pistol and presses it harder against your skull. We're good people who simply lost their cow, so you stay here while the rest of your men go look for it. Then we'll trade if you're not back by morning. Too bad for you. Right, okay, so what do we have to do? Find a cow now? I really haven't got a clue. Um, right, we're going to head down to this point here, uh, to the farm. Has he taken our weapons away from us? No, he hasn't taken our gun away from us. Right, we've still got our pistol, which is fine, and they haven't actually taken anything away. Um, 
so let's just head down to this point of interest and then we'll head to there as well we are hungry you see what you believe to be an old woman you take a closer look and realize she's actually about 30 but her unspeakable suffering has aged her beyond her years she says nothing but the madness blazing in her eyes speaks volumes and girl of about 10 is standing next to her and begs you to take her and her mother to the nearest city uh yeah we're gonna help them it's uh, the nearest cities are pretty close if we were elsewhere that's fine but there are a lot of near cities here um, so we've got to return a cow to a farm, a scold mother and daughter, and help three journalists as well. Okay, right, you find a cow and lead it back to the farm. Right, so now we've got to go back up there to collect our reward, I think. I, I have not got a clue. Right, okay, so let's head to this settlement. The next stop is a former resort that was first turned into a hospital and then bombed to ruins with doctors and patients still inside of it. Kinley says it was friendly fire. Okay, so we've got our first picture. The first journalist is done. So at least that's some money if we don't complete the others. I think we get that if they do move away or whatnot. Um, what we're going to do is cook. And I think we should probably be okay to rest up here as well. Um, let's just rest there. Right, okay, we're all right. And then what we're going to do is just a bit more exploration around this bit. And I think we need to head to here next, and then we'll head back up uh, to the kind of northwest. Right, there's a group of marauders there. They are bandits. We need to try and stay away from them. Once in the city, the girl leads the way to her house, where you only find a, a pile of debris. The woman falls to the ground, unable to cope with yet another blow. Suddenly, a man in tattered clothes appears and darts towards the young girl. Father, her daughter cries his daughter cries rather as she flies into his waiting arms life seems to return to the woman you leave quietly and continue your journey okay so we didn't get anything for that it was more of like a good deed which is fine but we're gonna head up here and then head back and this is what i was saying about the infighting it started already uh what are you looking at knock it off chill man i know you've been spying on me what do you want to see what's in my bag to become an acquainted with my fists right so our alcoholic friend is unfortunately kicking off on uh, one of our female members which is kind of no need for um but yeah that's fine right we've got some objects here it looks like there's something in the bushes should we check it out i mean it could be a trap but we generally need stuff right it's just an old rig loaded with boxes all right there are some things in there Right, that's good. So we've got a tiny bit more first aid. We're all running really shy of food at the moment, but hopefully once we complete this uh, cow returning quest, we can uh, we can sort it out. We're pretty still like okay fed, really. Energy could be a problem. Um, have we got enough energy to get to there? Yeah, we have. And the marauders seem to be heading to us as well. Right, okay, so now he's kicking off about berries by the highway, and yeah, it's not looking too good for him. Alright, let's stay here. Alright, okay. He's just flapping it now, unfortunately. Um, we need to just rest. Just get everyone de-stressed. We will need more food. We haven't got enough food to actually make a meal, and there are some bandits on our tail. Holy shit. You hear shots and screams coming from the farm. Marauders, bandits, SWAT. Right, we're going to have to fight these off because we have just, like, carried a cow um, all that way. Or not carried it, but, you know. Right, so we're going to put our unarmed guy, Max, right there. Um, if you're not familiar with the fighting system, basically this means attack. So if this is higher, that's more beneficial for us. And the second is agility, so I assume the ability to actually dodge stuff and the third is defense so our cover so we're going to put max and adam are going to be our kind of forerunners there um in fact we'll probably swap them around and then we are going to go for adele generally at the back because she's unarmed jude probably at the back with more cover and then joel with a similar amount of cover there and we're going to fight in we should be able to deal with these fairly quickly as all four of them are unarmed but um you never know you just never know they might have some goods on them as well which we can actually take from them which would be really really nice and generally what we need to keep going i mean max is doing well for an alcoholic who's probably shaking his tits off his shooting is pretty good i know he's kind of point blank but hey ho we're taking a tiny few scrapes of damage here as well um 
but nothing, the medical equipment or a bit of rest won't actually cure. So we managed to sort them out, which is decent, and let's see what they've got. Right, so they've got a lot of food, so that was well worth it. Well, well worth it. Okay, so what we're actually going to do is give all the medical equipment to Joel, who is our uh, medic, I believe, and then at least we kind of know what everyone is lumping around with them. And obviously Adele's our barter, so we can give her any high value stuff that we plan to sell. You see the bodies of the farms in the backyard, they tried to defend their home but were outnumbered. You bury them in the field, search the house and continue your journey. Right, so we've got some chocolate and I think some tin goods. No, some cereal, I don't know how that's cereal, but okay. Um, we can probably cook up a meal now as well, which is nice. And we've got a decent amount of energy to press on. So. Where are the next journalists? So number one is here, and then we've got another main quest just coming up there. So we're going to head up to this one, try and get away from these bandits. You find an abandoned shed full of canned goods. Alas, the cans are so old, the expiry, expiration dates have faded. Canned food doesn't expire, dig in. You'd rather not risk eating this food. We're going to go in because we just need it. Um, Ah, uh, shit. Even though the meat smells slightly off, you eat a few cans of it. 30 minutes later, you realise that was a big mistake. Alright, okay. So, I think we're all shitting liquid at the moment, which is unfortunate. One of the marks on James's map is a small town several miles away. As you arrive, you're greeted by the stench of rotting meat, smoke, and the sharp tang of something chemical. Bodies litter the streets, making it clear death took them by surprise. While the journalists are working, you think of finding it a gas mask. Right, okay, so that's number two. If we can get all three of these, I think we should get a big payoff, which is really going to help us uh, to our financial goal of bribing someone at the port. And luckily, there's another point of interest here as well. Ah, right, they've left. The journalists decide to stop pressing their luck and leave. As you're speeding away, you tell Kinley it's becoming too dangerous to accompany him. He gives you the money he owes you and you part as friends. Right, so we've now got four grand, so that's not too bad. Anyone who's you know relatively decent at maths, uh, we only need 11,000 now, which is, uh, which is fantastic. We've still got another journalist with us, actually, so maybe we can complete this. Um, let's head to this main quest. Uh, we are fairly hungry, but we should be okay. While searching through yet more ruins, you find a surprisingly intact safe. It looks like both bombs and more, more... I cannot say that word. I failed to open it. Can you? Right, let's try and open it. After considerable effort, you manage to open it. It contains no treasure, but there are a few small items. Every little bit helps. Right, good stuff. Don't know why someone puts chocolate in a safe, but hey-ho. It's really kind of similar, this, to um, this war of mine and... Neo Scavenger, it's kind of a cross between the two. So we're going to head back to this point of interest now. And it is a trade point. So let's have a look what we can actually buy. They've got a bit of meat there. So we're going to sell the watch and buy some meat off them as well, which costs quite a bit. But unfortunately, we do need it at the moment. We don't need meds, which is fine. Um, so we're looking all right inventory wise, not too shabby at all. So we're going to sit off and we're going to do a bit of cooking and we've got enough energy to kind of press on. Uh, we could explore and hunt and everything like that, but for the time being I just want to get some funds in our pocket and, you know, just keep going. You find an apartment building on the outskirts of town. The owner, an elderly but strong man, welcomes you, insists that you rest and share a meal with him. He offers you wine. His hospitality in this uncivilized world surprises you. Right, no chance, like, he just looks creepy. It looks like, you know, we're going to end up with a finger inside us after we drink one glass of that wine. So let's just keep going. As you pass through a long, narrow ravine, a mounting rumble catches your attention. Soon stones start hitting the road. It's a landslide. Um, what you do in a landslide? You run for cover or run forward? Let's run for cover. You hide in a crevice, but Adam breaks a bone and suffers a concussion. Right, okay, I don't know if he's going to be any slower, but what is this? I've never seen a red tick, guys. Right, let's continue. Your next stop is a checkpoint that switched occupants many times. Judging by the uniform, it's currently the, under the control of pro-government troops. The journalists flock to them, chatting merrily. You keep your distance and are rewarded with a view of Kinley's nose meeting a buttstock and his colleague's camera shattering after being introduced to a rock. It seems the soldiers aren't in the mood to be interviewed. 
Right, so I think that's the third and final thing for the first quest, which is really nice. Or the second quest, if you count, like, the cows. Um, but, did we not get any money for that? No? Right, okay, so we've done with the journalist, that's fine. And um, we're going to head on to this next point, which seems to be a trade point. We could attack these, but we're going to agree to trade for now. Um, we can sell some just various bits of shit, like the berries... Um, and I want to buy what have we got here right we're going to take this repair kit simply because the pistols do have durability uh, as you can see that's two or three now so we're going to just take that and keep on going so we got some really really nice goods there um, our energy levels are pretty low so it's probably time to take a bit of a rest and de-stress as well before we start fighting again and we are going to explore and see what's what. So we've got like a little mountainous range next to us. Um, a group of refugees below. I think you need them passes if you go to the airport or the border. I haven't really got a clue. Um, but we're not doing too badly. We haven't travelled an extremely far distance or an extreme distance. But as you can see the war zone is spreading. And uh, if we piss about too much that will actually catch up with us but i'm going to call it an episode here guys uh, i'll probably double upload this or two in quick succession so as always tell me what you think down below thank you very much for watching and i will see you soon